Now Iran will receive tens of billions of dollars in sanctions release, relief. To be sure, a good amount of that money will go to Iran's priorities, but much of it will also surely flow to Iran's Revolutionary Guards Corps and Quds Force, groups that, as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff also mentioned, were responsible for the deaths of several hundred U.S. service members. This will have enormous consequences for stability in the Middle East and for America's credibility. For decades, Republican and Democratic administrations have sought to contain the malign influence of the Iranian Republic of Iran and prevent it from acquiring a nuclear weapons capabilities. Our allies and partners have entrusted much of their own security to the United States because they believe that our commitments were credible. In this way, America's role in the region has been to suppress security competition between states with long histories of mistrust and to prevent that competition from breaking down into conflict. I fear this agreement will further undermine our ability and willingness to play that vital, stabilizing role. Our allies and partners in the Middle East have increasingly come to believe that America is withdrawing from the region and doing so at a time when Iran is aggressively seeking to advance its geopolitical ambitions. Now we have made a deal with Iran that will not only legitimize the Islamic Republic as a threshold nuclear state with an industrial enrichment capability, but will also unshackle this regime in its long-held pursuit of conventional military power and may actually consolidate the Islamic Republic's control in Iran for years to come. The dangerous result is that our allies and partners will be increasingly likely to take matters into their own hands. And indeed, we already see evidence of that. These fateful decisions may well manifest themselves in a growing regional security competition, new arms races, nuclear proliferation, and possible conflict, all of which would demand more, not less, U.S. leadership and presence in the region. Ultimately, this is what I find most troubling about the Iran deal. It embodies and will likely exacerbate the collapse of America's global influence that is occurring under this administration and indeed has so often been catalyzed by its policies.